everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today as you can see from the title we are going to be doing a little mini Q&A um, while the build is playing in the background. Um, this build is a family home. Um, it's kind of like it's kind of big inside honestly. I don't know if it looks like it's big from the outside but it is a pretty big house so this kind of took me a little bit to build especially the roofing <laughs> that took so long. Um, so I did cut out some of the footage and um, even cutting out the footage, it still managed to be a whole hour long. So um, yeah, so this is a pretty long one. Um, so maybe, I don't know, get a snack or um, a nice little uh, cup of your favorite drink or something because um, it's a pretty long one. Or maybe just have it playing in the background. I don't know if you have like a chore to do or something and you just want to have some company, then uh, you can listen to me ramble, I guess. But <laughs> Um, anyhow, uh, like I said, I'm doing a little mini Q&A today. It's not very long, um, so we'll have to figure out what we're going to talk about for the next, um, <laughs> while of this video. Um, I'm still not sure yet. I think it depends on how, uh, out of breath I get while talking, um, whether I'm going to, like, continue, um, like, a voiceover for the rest of the video, or... Uh, maybe you guys will be like left with some music in the background for uh, the next like duration of it if I start getting really out of breath because it's surprisingly very hard to keep up a narration um, and especially for like an hour since I've never had a runtime this long so yeah I don't know we'll see where it goes but uh, let's get into some of the little um, some of the Q&A questions that we're gonna be doing so the first question I have is from Emerald Stories XX6TT. <laughs> I think maybe, um, yeah, I might be butchering some people's names in this, so I'm, I'm really sorry about that. But um, they asked, favorite Sims game? And this one, I, I think I kind of talked a little bit about this in my like big red house um, video that I did um, I was kind of talking about like the differences between like the Sims games that I've played which is only the Sims 3 and the Sims 4 I didn't get to play the Sims 2 or the Sims 1 or just the Sims um, because uh, I don't know I just wasn't like the age for it <laughs> at the time um, and I didn't really get computer games until I kind of had a little bit of like pocket change where I could afford to spend money on games so yeah I didn't get to play um <clears throat> sorry I had to clear my throat there I didn't play um the older games like Sims 2 and The Sims um so the only frame of reference I have is Sims 3 and Sims 4 um and I don't it's, it's kind of hard because I like them for different reasons, but I think for sure I have to say The Sims 3. Um, and it's mostly for, you know, it's the one that I grew up with, really. Um, I think I started playing The Sims 3 when I was... What age would I have been? I think maybe 13? I think I started when I was like 13 or something. Either 12 or 13. Um... I had gotten it as a gift and uh, I was like obsessed with it beforehand if you guys remember like um, like old YouTube back in the day uh, there was like a lot of like machinimas for the Sims games um, that were on there uh, there wasn't really a lot of like a build community which is kind of interesting to think about like I at least I didn't I think the only like build content that I watched at the time was uh, someone named Krill Sims 3 um yeah they were really big back then um for like house builds for the sims 3 game like speed builds um but as far as i remember i feel like it's the only person i watched that was doing speed builds at the time there's probably others that i just didn't know about um but yeah there's some like og like sims 3 youtubers back then and um but a lot of the time i was actually watching sims 2 machinimas and stuff which is interesting it was a lot of sims 2 machinimas a lot of sims 3 machinimas or um like series like people would have like series 
uh, I didn't really watch like the voiceover ones that often, but just the ones that had like the subtitles and stuff like that. I don't know. I was like really into that. Me and my sister would sit and watch them. So that was the kind of like thing that I got consumed by. Anyways, I kind of went off on a tangent there, but I think um, just nostalgia factor and like growing up with it and growing up with like watching YouTube videos about it. Um, I think Sims 3 is probably my favorite Sims game. Um, yeah, it's just, it's that girl, you know, like it's, it's like a comfort game. I find even when I'm playing other games, I'll like feel like I want to just experience the vibe. I don't know. There's something about the vibe of the Sims 3 that is really like kind of addictive. Um, especially now, uh, that I can like mod the game out because <laughs> I didn't really know how to do that that well back then. Like I still played with CC and stuff like that, but, um, yeah now that i know how to do a little bit more with it and especially having like a reshade over the game I, uh, it just is like a new experience and i find myself wanting to like play in that kind of vibe and aesthetic and yeah so anyways um it, <laughs> a long long-winded answer um for i think it's the sims 3 um is my favorite game but i will say um if I had to choose just for like building aspect, then The Sims 4 would obviously be my favorite um, because the building's just so much easier <laughs> in The Sims 4. Um, and I just find it more enjoyable. Uh, but yeah, it's, I think uh, it's, it's The Sims 3. Okay, and the next question is from Marla A. Cole. And they asked, what's your favorite Sims game? Which I just answer so it'd be the sims 3 and another question they left if you could combine any aspects of old games into project renee what would they be that's a really good question um for people who don't know project renee is just like it's kind of like i don't like a placeholder name i guess for the next sims game i don't know if they're really they didn't really say it's the next sims game but it's basically like the sims 5 but just um, mobile and PC version. Um, but yeah, they're calling it Project Renee. So, um, that's what it's referring to. If I could combine any aspects of old games into it, I think that my ideal game for The Sims, like my ideal like simulation game would definitely be open world. Um, I don't know if they're planning on doing that, especially because it's supposed to be compatible with mobile. Um, I'm kind of skeptical on the ability that they would have to make an open world but for sure it would be open world from the sims 3 um i think a lot of like the fun kookiness even though i didn't get to play the sims 2 like from watching people play it and different things i think a lot of like kind of the free-spirited um kookiness and um things that happened between sims and stuff in the sims 2 would be fun to have um, and to experience because I didn't personally experience and also just the detail of the animations would be nice to have um, So definitely like the animations and like the overall kookiness and like playfulness of the sims 2 open world of the sims 3 and I think I would want I don't necessarily want a graphics that looked like the sims 4 or the sims 3 I would want something that looked different like I feel like I don't know like something more creative i guess we haven't really seen any because they've had like some behind the scenes um content showing what they're doing with project renee and i don't think as far as i know um that they've shown anything for what the actual like people or like sims or whatever they're gonna call them um are gonna look like but um yeah i don't know i i think i want something stylized i don't want something super ultra realistic um but I want something stylized and like in between. If something could be in between Sims 3 and Sims 4 in terms of graphics, then I think that would be the most fitting for me personally. Um, but yeah, I think if I could combine any of the aspects, then it would be those things. Uh, we have another question um, by the same user. And they asked, what do you hope for in Sims 5 slash Project Renee? Um, I think I've talked a little bit about this. Um, I don't talk like a lot about Project Renee specifically, but I, I kind of don't have a lot of hopes for it. I know that, um, a lot of people have a lot of 
are kind of cynical about the way Project Renee is going to turn out. Um, and I'm kind of in that same... I'm kind of in that same thinking. Uh, there's a lot of kind of red flags. Just like the way... Um, the... The way that the company has like shifted its views on you know micro transactions and now they're making it mobile um compatible i don't really have a lot of high hopes for project renee so i'm it, i honestly really do feel that the sims 4 would probably be the last like sims franchise game that i'd play because i don't think that project renee is going to turn out maybe like some might be hoping that it will I, I mean, like, I would love for it to be great and, like, to enjoy playing it, but I just, I don't feel like it's going to go that way. Um, but if I could have my hopes and dreams for it, I would honestly have just, like, nixed the whole mobile thing entirely because I think that's going to make it way worse. <laughs> um, just in terms of now you're lowering the graphic graphics, now you're going to be, you know... Um, excluding certain features because it has to be able to run on mobile i think that it's really limiting and it was a really big mistake on their part to have that um so yeah i don't know if i have hope for project renee um but if i could um hope for something i would hope that it was like good and that it was enjoyable um and i hope that you know if people do choose to play it then i hope that they have fun playing it and the last question by the same user is, would you ever play different simulation games on this channel? I've actually been thinking about this um, recently. Um, I think I mentioned, I don't know if it was my last video or like the video before that, but I remember recently I mentioned um, that I've been playing like a lot of Sims 3 recently and I've been trying to like dabble in building a little bit in there. Um, and I have thought about maybe uploading like a sims 3 build on this channel but i don't know how well that would do because i know a lot of people don't there's a lot of people that are going back to the sims 3 but i don't know if enough people like on this channel because they obviously subscribed specifically for sims 4 um speed builds if they would be even interested in watching that so yeah i don't know i don't know the answer is i don't know <laughs> um i'd like to i think it would be fun um, I don't know how well it would do, um, or if people would enjoy watching it and want to watch it. So, um, yeah, I might, I might try it in the future. Like I, I wouldn't ever say like, I'm never going to do it because maybe I will. Um, but yeah, I, I might, I think definitely if, um, life by you or, um, paralyzed, like definitely paralyzed. I think when it comes out, I would make content for that. Um, so yeah, when different simulation games, uh, do come out, I think I would definitely start posting them, um, whether it's on this channel or if I made another channel, I'm not really sure. Um, but I think I would definitely try to make, um, especially for Paralyze, I think I would definitely try and make builds and stuff like that. It would probably be like a learning curve, obviously, because it's going to be a new game. So I have to get kind of used to like how things work and everything. But yeah, I think I, I would upload um, different simulation games on the channel um, and in that same vein I've actually been um, playing a little bit of house flipper <laughs> um, just the first game because uh, I haven't really played it before but um, yeah I've been kind of into that recently um, it's very I don't know why but it, I find it extremely like stressful I have to like take a break from it because I get really frustrated with um, things not working out the way I want them to when I'm doing a renovation um, so yeah, I don't know. Um, maybe if I get more confident in that game, I could upload some house flipper, I don't know, speed flips or something like that, um, in the future. But yeah, for the other ones like Paralyze and things like that, I think I probably will, uh, when they come out. Um, and yeah, I hope that people would like to see that because I definitely want to try. I'm just gonna jump in here and talk about um, the build for a hot second um, because I don't think I actually did in the intro. Um, but this is a, a house that I made for a couple and their two teenagers, and then there's a guest bedroom. 
um, I, I didn't mention that in the beginning, so I'm just kind of putting it in here. Um, yeah, I was just like picturing kind of like, not like an, like just, I don't know, like an older couple, I guess, and they're two teenagers and um, yeah, they live in this house and I pictured one parent being like a lawyer so they have like their own office thing upstairs and the other parent I think is a like interior designer which is obviously like the title of this video <laughs> um, so yeah one's an interior designer that has their own like um, kind of office space inside of the garage and they have like samples in there of different furniture and rugs and paints and stuff like that and um, like frames and paintings and stuff that they use for their business um, maybe like they've just started off and like they haven't gotten like their own office space or like warehouse space to hold the stuff that they go shopping for for like clients and things so that was the kind of idea I had for that space for the interior designer and um, this kitchen and dining room and living room combo I really love it like I I don't know I had a really hard time actually with this kitchen and choosing the colors that I wanted which is why like you didn't see some of it because I had to cut out the footage um but yeah, the way it ended up, I really, really like this kitchen and living room and like dining combo. I think it turned out really nicely. Um, but anyways, we'll get back into the questions. I just wanted to pop in there <laughs> and um, explain what the house was made for. And yeah. Okay, so the next question I have is by is from Maddie Hawkins, 9721. And they asked... I really like this apartment a lot. It's so cozy and warm. They were talking about <laughs> this comment was on a video. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, they asked, would you ever consider doing a voiceover where we can see your face if you feel comfortable doing it? Um, probably not. Um, it's like for a lot of reasons, obviously, like it's kind of scary, the internet. <laughs> um, so for like privacy and safety reasons, I don't think I would ever do um, a face reveal. Um, but I have considered like doing either like a VTube model um, and getting that kind of set up, uh, which is like kind of intensive and I don't know really how to do it. <laughs> so um, maybe I'll do that, but I'm not sure if I'm tech savvy enough to figure that out. Um, but yeah, I have considered doing like a VTube model or even just having like a sim self um, and doing like a video with like a sim self. But um, I had a sim self that I made, I think like a couple years ago and I showed my <laughs> my siblings and they're like, oh my goodness, like that looks scarily accurate to what you look like. Like that's kind of creepy. It's like giving Uncanny Valley. And I was like, oh, like I kind of popped off with that. But I don't know where that sim is. So if I like dig through my files and find where I put that sim self, then uh, maybe I can use that <laughs> um, as a little, I don't know, like on screen mascot thing for some videos. But yeah, I don't know. Um, probably not my actual face, but I think if I was to make a likeness of myself, um, whether it was like drawn a VTuber or a sim self, then... I think that's the most comfortable um, I would be with that kind of thing. The next question from the same user asked, if you could create your own CC pack, what would it be like? That's a really good question, actually. Um, what would it be like? It's kind of interesting because I find that, and I've seen this kind of discourse or like this kind of thought um, on Tumblr before um, where some people are saying like a lot of the custom content that you can get and that we find and see a lot is stuff that kind of is like on the upscale side like it's for maybe more affluent sims or just like middle class like kind of vibes like I don't know like the way that the the furniture looks and things and everything makes it seem like it's like it got the it's just got the vibes of people who maybe have more money so i think i'd want like a cc pack that's like more like toned down vibes like it's it's not as like expensive looking i guess is what i mean um like really homey cozy run-of-the-mill sort of like a, an entire kitchen an entire living room 
I think I like the sets um, with like CC packs and stuff like that where it's like it comes out in like different parts of like a, a house so it's like there's a kitchen part there's a dining room part a living room part a bedroom part I think that's what I would want to do um, I've actually really considered making CC but then I watch like blender videos and people making it and it looks so complicated and I get really intimidated um, so yeah I'm, I'm too I don't know if I'm patient enough honestly <laughs> I think it takes a lot of patience obviously to learn a new skill and that's kind of like a really hard thing to learn so um yeah but i have considered that but i think i would make that kind of cc pack like something really homey and cozy and more um i guess a little less polished looking i guess i would want something that seems like you could see in, in anybody's like run of the mill kind of home um which we kind of got with like a winged llama sets with like their nostalgia living pack um i think we're seeing more sets come out that are more like toned down and not as polished or um expensive looking which i like um so yeah i think i would want to do something like that and then on the other side so i would do like a, a cc pack that was kind of like that like really like homey cozy vibes and then on the other hand i'd like to have like a set where it's like basically all the things that I like <laughs> like um like these like it's something very much in my like taste so it'd be a lot of like jewel toned CC sets because I find a lot of like the CC we get is like it's a lot of like neutrals and wood tones which I obviously like like I still like those things but I want to see more like outside of the box things stuff stuff with like lots of patterns. I'd make a lot of like patterned wallpapers, um, like patterned furniture and stuff like that, I think is really fun. Um, like colorful kitchens. Um, yeah, so one pack would be like really cozy, homey um, kind of vibes. And then I'd make another CC pack that would be like a lot of like really colorful patterned um, kind of stuff like that, like kind of like whimsy like lots of like whimsical colorful kind of vibes because i like those kinds of things and i don't think we see a lot of that kind of aesthetic or like vibe um when it comes to cc so i think that's what i would like to have or like to make if i could <laughs> um the same user asked if you had if you have any advice for people who are just starting Sims 4, what would that be? Who are just starting Sims 4. So I'm assuming like they're, they are like a new player, I think is what that means. Um, I think if you're just starting the game, um, I think my advice would be to just like play it. I know that's, that's not like not good advice, but like... I would say like play the game for like a couple days and then anything that you're kind of like hmm like I wish I had this or I wish I could do that um maybe like look up custom content for it you know what I mean like or mods or something to like help enhance the gameplay because sometimes like especially when I first started like, playing The Sims 4 I played it for a while just like vanilla and then when I started to feel like hmm like you know I'm kind of missing this or I don't like the hair options that we have or I don't have like afro hair that I really like that I want to put on my sims family then I would go and like seek out that cc or I would get like um like a family mod or like the slice of life mod I think was like the first mod that I put in um or if I wanted more food options then I would go and get like the granny's cookbook mod like so I would say like just give yourself some time to just play the game like by itself because then you'll know what you're missing you know um but you can't really know what you're missing and what you want in your game or if it's the stuff that you don't really need in your game and you're just like bogging your game up and gonna make it run worse um if you're just getting like random things that you don't actually like want or need um that's like functional to how you want to play the game so for sure i feel like my advice would be to just play the game for a little bit um like just vanilla um and try everything out and when you feel like you're lacking in something, then like search for something that um, aligns with that. Like if you're 
like man i had i wish i had more like recipes that i could make than you would get like a cooking mod or um i wish i had this kind of interaction for like relationships or i wish my sim had like um could you know like sell houses or buy houses in a realistic way then you would get like the realty mod like that kind of thing so that's i think that would be my advice is like play the game see what you're lacking in it and then seek out the mods and cc that would help um you in those specific areas so that you're not just like getting cc and mods that people have just for like the heck of it without really knowing if you like actually need it for the way that you play the game um yeah i think that's pretty much it <laughs> And the last question by this um, same user was, what made you start building in The Sims and posting videos? Um, it was really like, it's something that I had thought about for a long time. Um, I started like building and really enjoying building when I was playing The Sims 3, cause it was like the only Sims game that I played, right? So um, yeah, I, I built a lot of houses. And at that time I was like, what, like 12 or 13? and I actually played it so much and enjoyed building so much that I genuinely like considered going into like architecture um like as a job um which I kind of like took a class in high school for it when I got to high school um and then I found out like I wasn't bad in that class I did pretty well actually um but I think it wasn't a fit for me because I'm not very good at um, math. So like, I, I'm not terrible at math, like in math class, I didn't do terribly. I got mostly like B's and stuff like that. But the kind of math that I would have to do and know like really well for architecture, I don't think it would, I don't think it would go over well. Like, I don't think I'm someone that would be able to do that. Um, there's like a lot of variables to that kind of job. So, um, but yeah, anyways, so I started building a Sims 3. I thought it was going to be like an architecture, um, you know, person growing up. Like I thought I was going to maybe go into that as a job. Did in high school and was like, mm, you know what? Maybe let me backtrack. Like, I don't think I could do this as a job. Um, and then I, I just like kept building in the Sims cause it was something I really enjoyed doing. And then um, there was um, there was just like a time that um, I got to like after I had graduated high school um, where I was kind of like sad <laughs> and depressed. And I was it was something that I did all the time to kind of relieve um, my anxiety. And when I was really depressed. Um, I would like go in and, you know, build stuff and listen to music or like make up backstories. I used to make like Sims 3 uh, machinima videos for myself. Like I literally never posted them because I was too afraid to do that. But I was like, I don't know. I, I kind of just created content for like since I was a teenager with The Sims. But it's just I didn't really like put it out in the world at that time because I was too afraid to do it. Um, and I'm kind of glad I did because the plot, the plot of that... <laughs> made no sense but um for like building specifically it was something that I did obviously to relieve stress so when I got into that place when I was really sad and kind of depressed I was like you know what this is something that I've kind of thought about for a long time of like making a sims channel and I had actually made a sims build channel I think uh, when was it like maybe seven years ago it was a long time ago I had made one I think I posted like um, cast videos, so, like create some stuff and um, build videos, but I ended up deleting the channel because I wasn't confident in it um, and I just didn't like the way it was turning out. Um, so yeah, and I also just didn't have the equipment and like the stuff for it. So, I, you know, it wasn't like the best quality um, and it wasn't what like I wanted to put out there. So I ended up deleting that channel. Um, and obviously like this channel was born, like not that long. I think it's, we're almost coming up on a year now, but during that time I was like, you know what, this is something I've always wanted to do. Um, I'm kind of, I've got nothing going on right now, really. That's like stopping me from doing it. So, um, yeah, I just made the channel and, uh, I started posting my builds and then people liked it. I think the push for me was 
you know, I was sad <laughs> and I had nothing to do, but also I had a Tumblr and I was never really a part of like the Sims, com like I've always been a part of the Sims community, but I wasn't like a part of it in the sense of like actually being like an active member in the community until I made a Simbler. Um, and when people, I would like post pictures and stuff of like my builds or like just my Sims, like doing things in the builds I'd made. And then people were asking where they were from. And I was like, oh, I built it. And then it, I was like, oh, like people seem to like what I build. Like maybe this is something I could, you know, I've always thought about maybe doing a YouTube build channel. Like maybe I could do that. And so, yeah, that's kind of where it came from. It was a mixture of, um, making, you know, Sims content for myself for a long time um, over the years when I was like a teenager and then um, being sad and depressed and doing it as like an outlet and then really enjoying doing it and then posting on Tumblr and then people liking the builds that I was doing and then being like, you know what, this is something that I've always done and enjoyed. Why not? Why don't I just like share it? So yeah, that's kind of how it came to be. <laughs> Okay, the next question is from Sugarcane281, and they asked, when did you start playing The Sims games? Um, I kind of answered that, I guess, in the previous questions, but um, yeah, I was like 12 or 13 uh, when I started playing The Sims games. My actual first time playing any Sims, like at all whatsoever, um, was when I went over to my cousin's house and he had, I don't remember if it was, I think it was a PlayStation, I don't think it was an Xbox. I think it might have been his PlayStation, but he had Sims 2 um, on like a console version. And we were like upstairs sitting on the carpet and he's like, oh yeah, like you can like make your own like family and everything. And I was like, really? Like I'd never heard of The Sims ever. Um, so it was like my first, um, <laughs> that was my first interaction with any Sims related thing. I don't remember how old I was. Um, I think I was like maybe 10. I think it was like 10 or 11. So it was like right before I ended up getting um, uh, the game as a gift uh, when I was like 12 or 13. Um, but yeah, I, I, I sat down carpet and I was like, oh my goodness, this is like the best thing ever. And then I was like, I, I remember asking, I was like, are they speaking like Swedish or something? Like what, <laughs> what language is this? Cause I was just like a 10 year old and I didn't know what they were saying. And he's like, no, like it's, it's a fake language. It's called Simlish. And I was like, oh. And I just remember making this family and being so engrossed in it. And it's obviously like not a multiplayer game. So I was sitting on the carpet just playing this game. And then they, like my sister um, and my cousin got bored. So they went to go and like, I think to play soccer or something. Like they were getting bored. So like, we're gonna go and like play. And I was like, yeah, you guys have fun. And I was just like locked to the screen, just like playing this <laughs> PS2 or whatever PlayStation was. I don't know what PlayStation it was, but playing this Sims 2 game. Um, yeah, so uh, from then on, I was obsessed, uh, and <laughs> um, it's never really stopped, and I'm still here playing Sims games, but that was my first, like, interaction with anything Sims-related, um, but yeah, I didn't start playing The Sims, like, actually until, um, like, 12 or 13. And I think this is the last question for the mini Q&A, um, and it's by Charmian99. And they asked, what would you most like to see in a new Sims pack? Theme, new world, or items? That's a good question. Um, as everyone probably knows on this channel by now, um, I desperately want a band pack so incredibly badly. I just really want bands. Like, it's the one thing that I'm missing for my teenagers' lives um, in The Sims. Like, all my Sim teenagers, like, they go to high school. I have high school years, so, like, you know they'll be an athlete or like a cheerleader or whatever but i i just want i want my emo punky grunge teens to have a band really really badly um it's like the one thing i'm missing it's really genuinely the only like all my teenagers in the sims 3 when i'm playing it like if there's a household teenagers they're pretty much going to be in a band like there's no question they're always like little punks and they always want to be in a band start their own band and have their um, you know, drum set and all their equipment in the garage. And I just like those vibes so much. And I like playing out those storylines. So that would be my, I just really want a band pack. Um, and honestly, that pack probably wouldn't even be like an expansion. Like, obviously that's not enough for an expansion. Like it would be like, I don't know, stuff pack maybe or a game pack. Um, 
but that's what I really want. Um, if we could have like a genuine, like specifically like a, a singer and like band pack, so you could become like a famous singer and like perform shows and stuff like that. Um, and then like start a, like a band and things like that. And like, I don't know, have like touring as part of the um, pack. You could do like touring and like autograph signings and like feel like a celebrity like i know we we have like the autograph signings and stuff like that in um get famous uh, but get famous was kind of like except for the acting career is kind of vague to me at least of like what your sims actually were famous for it was like you're either an actor or you're like an influencer um but i just wanted i just want like a a, a dedicated pack that is for like a singer and band career like a musician career specifically because we don't really have that in the game um which i think is a big oversight i don't know why that's not already in the game that seems really weird that they didn't integrate it at some point um honestly it's kind of weird that they even did the influencer career and get famous with like the actor career um instead of doing like a singing career i know they have like the dj mixing in that pack but that's not the same or the music mis mixing sorry um, but that's like not, not the same thing as like being a singer, you know what I mean? And like a and, or like a band, like being in a band. Um, so yeah, I think a musician career is like oh, I want that so badly. <laughs> um, I feel like they've done so many packs at this point um, that they could have integrated it with, and I feel like they might not do it. And it feels so weird, isn't that weird? The in a simulation game, they still haven't given us like an a legit musician career that's weird to me i don't know um that's like taken so long and they might not even do it like who knows um but yeah that's what i would like um so i'd like a musician like band pack type vibe and then if we got a new world what kind of new world would i like i don't know we have a lot of like similar feeling worlds um which is it gets kind of like old i guess after a while like it feels like they live in the same areas um we've gotten a couple desert worlds now i think i think honestly like a tokyo kind of themed world would be really cool um we got like um what's it called why can't I... oh snow escape um which i think is our well, now it's going to be the first set of two Asian themed worlds because we have um, Tomarain now with the for rent pack, which I don't have because it caused so many issues. I didn't bother buying the pack. But yeah, I think those are the only two, unless I'm forgetting one. I don't think I'm forgetting one, but those are the only two Asian themed worlds. But I think it'd be so cool um, to have like a Tokyo themed world, like in that city with like all the lights and everything. Um, that would be a really cool world to have. And then what else would I like to see? I don't know, maybe like a Greece theme world would be really cool. Um, Greece would be cool. Tokyo themed world would be cool. Um, something in like the, some kind of like African themed world would be also really cool. We haven't gotten anything like that so far, so that'd be a nice thing to see um like put in there i i want worlds that have like a beach that you can like go and swim in the only one that we have right now is uh what's it called tartosa um that came with the wedding stories pack where you can like actually like go and like wade into the water um but we don't have i think if i'm not like if i'm correct if i'm thinking correctly if i recall um, I'm pretty sure that Tartosa and Copperdale from high school years are the only worlds where you can like go into the water to swim in it from like just like the regular like just like the land around it. I don't think any of the other places you can do that. You can just like fish in it. Um, so I want worlds where like the water is integrated into the world so your sims can actually use it. Um, like a beachfront area. It's so disappointing in Brindleton Bay having that whole beach area and it's like basically unusable except for just fishing, which I don't know about you guys. Like, uh, I feel like a lot of people use fishing in, in The Sims, but I like barely ever have my Sims fish. 
so it just kind of feels like a waste of space to me <laughs> i would like to have like family beach days where they can go and like sit on the beach and like have a beach day um because right now the only pack that i have like i said that actually has the ability to go into the water like that from the land that's like on a beach kind of like has sand is copperdale because i don't have wedding stories um so yeah i don't know a world that's like that like a tokyo themed world an african themed world some like i don't know one of the countries in africa um would be like a cool thing to see and i don't know like a grecian world would just be really cool um so something like that i think i would like to see in the future um as for items what kind of items would i like to see in a sims pack um honestly <laughs> this is like this is like a weird thing to want i guess but i would like to have actually i think i would like multiple things now that i'm thinking about it i'd like to have curved pools I don't know if that really counts as an item, but like if they could give us curved pools, that would be really nice. I want to make round shaped pools. I was making like a lot the other day in The Sims 3 and I was putting a curved pool in it and I was like, yes, this is scratching the itch that I need. I just want curved pools. So that'd be nice. I'd like an above ground pool because um, I feel like a lot of families like in ground pools are really expensive. So a lot of families will just like go and get like the inflatable pools or like the ones that have like the rods they have to put in the ground and everything and then fill it so i want like an above ground pool a curved pool um this is like random but i want better showers <laughs> um i feel like we don't have a lot i think the only like shower combo that i really enjoy is from um get or not get together what is it growing together growing together has like the best shower in the game so far right now um but it's like more it's on the more like expensive side so um the one from parenthood is like it only has one good swatch because the rest of the tub combinations are like teal or pink or yellow and i don't want that in the bathroom um most of the time so um yeah i'd like more like like I don't know showers that don't look weird uh which is kind of a weird thing and obviously i'd like vehicles i know that we're never gonna be able to drive them that's totally fine i don't care but i just want like i don't know even if it's just like decor or it like just you know sits on your thing and then you click on it to travel because people have made mods like that and i don't know why they couldn't just integrate that in the game um but yeah, if we could have that and then like functional garages where you can put the garage door in and then you click on it and it'll open or close. I'd like little things like that. It's like just weird little random stuff that would be nice to have just for um, gameplay and stuff like that to feel um, better. Also, I was playing The Sims 3 and my Sims just had their first kid um and they kept they kept getting the want that they wanted to buy a trampoline i was like oh yeah we have trampolines in this game um so probably trampoline as well um because it was fun watching <laughs> sims bounce around on that um like during the summer they would like go on the slip and slide and then just like go on the trampoline and like bounce around and then i don't know just like the vibe the family vibes of that is like cute so i'd like a trampoline um yeah i guess there's like a couple of items that i'd like um to see in a sims pack um honestly most of all out of any of these things i want bands <laughs> i want bands and i would love to have something that is similar to the festivals in the sims 3 i know people are gonna be like well you know city living has the you know different festivals that you can go to but that's not the same thing we all know that's not the same thing the way that the festivals work in the Sims 4 is a lot different from the way they work in The Sims 3. And I like the activities more in The Sims 3 that you can do at the festival. So that's what I want. I want The Sims 3 festivals um, that like are like seasonal, um, but in The Sims 4. So if, actually that integrates into if we had a world and they had like a city center, um, which I guess it like for most games is like the big park, like the central park or whatever that they call it. Um, because usually, I mean, actually, do they do that still? Because now that I think about it, Copperdale doesn't have a 
main like big center park but all of the other worlds do like the base game ones and like some from the earlier packs actually you know what i think more recent worlds don't actually have that like a center like big park area but the other ones did like oasis springs has one willow creek has one um and newcrest technically would because it just has the lot that's empty for one now that I'm thinking about it, do any of the other packs have that? Maybe I'm wrong. I think it's just the base game worlds that have the big parks. No, City Living has a park. Okay, now I'm going, I'm just like thinking about this. <laughs> I didn't realize that they didn't have like a big park area in a lot of the worlds. Um, Delso Valley definitely doesn't have one. That's interesting. I never noticed that. But anyways, if we have another world, I would like a center park area because I think that's really useful. And then you could put like festivals, like if you could set festivals to be like at parks, that'd be great because think about it. You have like seasonal festivals where like you take your Sims family or your Sims couples or whatever and you go to the thing um, and they'd have all these cute little activities that they can do together. And then um, you can put like a, um, like a concert stage thing there or whatever and like make a Coachella <laughs> like music festival vibe um so like in the summers they could go there and then you could have your up and coming bands and musicians play um maybe they would have like a battle of the bands thing going on like they would make that like uh you can like set a competition like on the calendar or something like I don't know man just integration pack integration and more like activities like that to do um, would be fun. Another item. I'm just gonna be on a tangent now, but I mean like this is the last question So I have I have time to be on a tangent <laughs> um, This video is an hour long. I have time to be on a tangent, but while we're talking about this um, something else that I think would be fun is like um, Just like hobby items, I guess um, We kind of got that a little bit with nifty knitting. I don't have that pack, but like literally the only thing in that pack was knitting it's nice that all ages could do it, but I would I want like a pack that is has like a bunch of different interests um, for like all ages. And um, what's it called? The Sims 2 had that. They had a um, a pack. What was it called? Free time? I think it's called free time. And it was just like a hobby pack where I don't even know what was in that pack. You know what? We got time. We're here together. Let me look it up. Sims 2 free time. I think that's what it's called, right? And it came with like a bunch of like hobbies and stuff. The Sims 2 free time was a seventh expansion pack for The Sims 2. It mainly features group activities and hobbies for Sims. That's what I thought. Okay, so what did they have in here as hobbies? Does it have like a list anywhere or? Um, okay, so new additions. They had a new life state, so you could be a genie. Um, new careers in architecture, dance, entertainment, intelligence, and oceanography. You could become a city planner, world-class ballet dancer, prestidigitator, <laughs> um, the head of the SCIA, and become Hand of Poseidon. Ooh. Um, NPCs were food judge, hobby instructor, and Rod Humble. <laughs> That's funny. Um, new skills, nursery rhymes, and parenting. Oh. Uh, radio station was Indie Wave, and new talent badges for pottery and sewing. Like, what? That sounds so cool. Um, the interactions were they can bird watch outdoors, hiking and jogging, bug hunting. Older Sims can teach nursery rhymes to toddlers. Sims can enter contests and win prizes. Crafted paintings can be framed. Drawings can be hung on the wall. Sims can tinker on most appliances and they can discover comets and planets. Okay, so we have some of those things in The Sims 4, but for the hobbies, like, uh, let, let's read the description. Let's read the description for it. Now your Sims can rediscover the joys of leisure time. Awaken your Sims' true passions in life as they discover and excel at all new activities. Whether they're tossing a football with the family, practicing ballet, restoring cars with friends, or building train sets, your Sims now have more ways to build skills, enhance friendships, and make their lives more successful. 
Craft new, unique items for your sims to use in their daily lives, including clothing, pottery, and more. Your sims will even unlock secret rewards by mastering their hobbies and advancing all new careers. Explore a wide variety of new hobbies that will change your sims' lives. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, we need this kind of pack for The Sims 4. And if they did this pack, that could easily have bands in it. <laughs> so I could have concerts and garage bands for my teenagers. Um, but yeah, for real. I feel like we need this kind of pack in The Sims. I feel like people have wanted this kind of pack for so long. Um, we don't have a dancing career, so like the ballet would be so fun to do. Um, having a ballet um, skill, having a ballet career. Um, restoring cars is also something that was in previous games that we don't have in The Sims 4. Train sets is cool. Pottery, like that would be so fun to do. And I've also, like I've always thought about like that sewing kind of thing in The Sims. Like to have a sewing machine and have clothes that you can like sew from the sewing machine. Um, what would be really fun though, cause I feel like if you had like a certain amount of things that you could make, um, like clothing items that you could make from the sewing machine, like if it was limited, I think that wouldn't be as fun. So if there was an option where they obviously like with the new pack had like, okay, these are the items that you can sew with the sewing machine that are new. I think it'd be fun if they, if you could like the player themselves could choose um, from like, maybe like it'll integrate from cast so like whatever clothing you have in your game and cast you can set the sewing machine to be able to sew i think that would be a good idea because then um obviously like then it would feel like your sim could like you know make anything you want so like if you had a sim that was in the sewing career or like a fashion designer career or whatever um, you could have them like be specifically they do like bridal like they're a bridal um, dr wedding dress designer like that would be so fun and then when you get like CC or even just like you know dresses that are already in um, the cast uh, clothing then you can just like set those for the sewing machine to like sell I think that would be really fun and that would allow like more opportunities for people to have um, like really specific things that their sims are sewing so if they wanted to just be doing like bridal dresses then they just do bridal dresses if they wanted to do um, like you know children's clothing then they're like a children's clothing designer or like a baby clothing designer or um, like things like that like I think that could be really fun like I, I really like that and then for pottery that's just so fun imagine like your sims like having like the pottery like wheel thing and like going with their like family and everything and like oh like that'd be so cute and like you could paint it afterwards and like maybe some of like the ones that the kids can do like the kid sims they're kind of like wonky a little bit and the eyes kind of like you know maybe it's like kind of up on the forehead a little more but like you know little cute things like that and like your sims can take it home and like have it on the shelves and like give them as gifts like that'd be cute we just need like hobbies and stuff like that in a pack so yeah I think something that's like The Sims 2 free time. We need that for The Sims 4. But it would include all these things. Sewing, um, you know, pottery, a ballet career, building train sets, um, all that kind of stuff like that. And then bands as well. Because we got to fit that somewhere in a pack. And I don't know what other theme pack they would do that would enable us to have that. So throw that in there on the side but yeah i think um i really went on a tangent right there but um i think that covers that question and that's all the questions that we got for the mini q a today um yeah it's pretty much it's pretty much it um we're on the upstairs floor now just decorating and stuff like that i will say actually about this build um the downstairs floor I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. Um, I really like the main living area and the way the colors look and everything like that. I will say that the upstairs floor for me was a struggle. I don't know why I struggled so hard with this <laughs> with this top floor. I feel like I'm I feel like I get in like little ruts sometimes with building and it's usually with like certain sometimes it's just like overall like I just get in rut with building and I can't figure out what to build or everything I build I feel like looks like garbage but 
um, with this build specifically, it just felt like I'm in a rut with like bedrooms. Like I feel like the bedrooms that I'm building recently, um, I don't know, they're not hitting for me. Like it's not um, where I want it to be. They're like not turning out the way that I want it to be. I'm like really struggling with it and I don't know why. I don't know why it's specifically bedrooms, but yeah. Um, so this upper floor is basically all bedrooms except for this um, like office area that I made for um, the parent sim who's like a lawyer. So yeah, this whole floor for me is um, kind of rough, but I do like the landing area that has um, like bookshelves and stuff like that. Um, it's like a little cozy reading area for whoever would like to go there and like sit and read a book. Um, so I like that. Um, you will notice in the office space um, that there's like on the wall that's like kind of angled because it's where, well, it's not really angled, but where the angled roof is, the wall there, it won't let me change it. It won't let me change the wallpaper to the clear one, not the clear one, but the one that's not the siding. Because basically like if you have a roof piece like that coming in the room, but then you make um the roof piece so it just fits on one area so it's not like coming inside of the room is basically what i'm trying to say um so it just like fits better overall um and it doesn't like clip into the room because sometimes the roof will like clip in so if you make it like a certain way so it won't clip into the room um the roof won't clip in so like visually it'll be better but then if you try to change the wallpaper it'll change the whole piece which means you can see it from the outside so it's either the inside has siding or brick or whatever is on the outside that matches with the outside of the house or you change it to whatever is on the inside of the house and then the outside looks weird because there's a random like wall color that's there and the rest of the house is like brick or siding. So it's kind of like you got to choose which one's going to be on the outside. I think in this case I just was like whatever the outside's going to have this like white wall randomly where the siding should be but there's not. I don't know how to fix that problem because even if I made that part like smaller and then put a second piece so the outside would still be whatever color it is and the inside would be whatever the inside color is that like one tile of the wall would still be whatever the outside is I don't know if this is making sense if you um if you don't like build often then I feel like maybe this doesn't make sense even if you do build often maybe this doesn't make sense but anyways um yeah what I'm trying to say is one part of the roof from where the office is um was giving me a hard time and so the wall outside of it like on the house exterior is going to look like it doesn't have siding on it because it's it's just one of those things it's just one of those things in the sims 4 that don't work out the way that you wish it would so um yeah sorry about that if it's annoying it annoys me too if it's any consolation um but i can't do anything about it um anywho um, I think we're getting to the bedrooms, um, soon enough, but, uh, I'm going to take a little sip of water because I've been talking for a long time and I need to. So just give me a moment. Okay. That's much better. Um... Yeah, we're just kind of decorating here. I don't really know what else to say about this build, and I'm out of questions, so I just we're gonna we're, we're just gonna kind of sit here and have this time together. What are you doing? Maybe some chores or homework? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here. Um. So when I was building this, I guess I should just maybe go off on a little ramble about something while we're spending the last couple minutes together here i think we only have like nine minutes left so um when i was building the exterior of this house um when i was like kind of struggling um i realized that i didn't like that i left the driveway in like a square shape i think i should have curved it out because i think it would have looked better and i didn't do that and I kind of left it because I'd already put all the files and stuff um, instead of like the download um, thing. So I didn't want to have to like change the house and then go back and then put the files back in. So I just kind of left it. But if you're kind of annoyed with the way the driveway is, um, so am I. So, 
take solace in the fact that I also feel the exact same way. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, I know that I talked a bit about the weather the last time. Um, I think I'm, I'm pretty sure it was my last video. Um, but I was like saying how it's like getting to spring. Um, and it is spring now officially. So that's really nice. Um, because it's Canada, um, it was like really, really cold and snowed randomly. Um, it was honestly one of the most beautiful snows I've ever seen. I literally like woke up. Well, I didn't wake up cause I was already awake cause my insomnia kept me up all night, but, um, I kind of just like got out of bed. I like gave up cause it was already like, I think 7am. So I was like, why did like, I'm still here for what? So I got up and I went to the kitchen, got some water and then I looked out of the window and I was like, oh my goodness. This is the most beautiful like it had been like really like um windy but then it would it was also like snowing so it blew the wind on the trees in a way that like it literally looked like the entire tree was white like the trunks you couldn't see like the trunks of the trees so it was just like all white and it was so you know when like it's like a freshly fallen snow and it's just like silent and you can just hear like a little bit of like crackle or like maybe like some critters like I don't know squirrel or something in the distance but it's really really quiet like that's what the vibe was and it was like early in the morning so like there wasn't a whole bunch of like traffic or like people um you know like sounds coming from anywhere it was just so beautiful like I really just stood there like sleep deprived holding my cup of water and I was just staring outside and I was like that's beautiful like I've never seen that and I took a video of it but like it's just one of those things that video or like pictures and everything it just doesn't do it justice from like seeing it it was so nice but anyways the snow's gone um because just that's just like the way spring works in Canada so <laughs> um it's back to being muddy um which is fine because eventually it'll all be nice and green and all the flowers are gonna be back and the trees um are gonna be uh in full bloom and have all their foliage and everything so I'm excited for that. I honestly don't really love summer that much because I think it's too hot. I'm not a, a warm, I'm not a hot um, weather kind of girl. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm not a hot weather girl. I haven't ever been, I feel like in all of my 25 years of living, um, I've never had a um, love for the heat and you would think I would because I'm at least half Jamaican so I feel like I should like <laughs> I should like some heat but I, there's you know I'm born in Canada so I I, I I I just I don't know it's not in me it's not within me to like the heat that much so um I I like you know warm weather but I don't like when it's hot so I always get a little like ah oh, it's gonna be summer and everything's gonna be sticky and sweaty and hot and irritable um but you know i guess that's what fun beach days are for so <laughs> i'll try to be doing that and the ac fun beach days and ac is what um that's for so anyways how is it where you guys are living maybe you guys don't even have the opportunity to see the snow because you might be living in warmer climates or um maybe it's like completely different from you and you're going into winter um let me know how it's going for you guys um but yeah I actually it's actually a really randomly hot day today so my sister went and got DQ so I have a blizzard waiting for me um which I'm excited about it is cookie dough because cookie dough has been my ice cream flavor from when I was very young um it was always either the vanilla in a cup with sprinkles or um smarties like a smarty blizzard or it was the cookie dough blizzard but i've noticed when you know like i became like a teenager it was like strictly smarties or sorry strictly cookie dough um and that's like my blizzard now it's like i get a cookie dough blizzard or sometimes i will get a banana split which is obviously like a classic it's very good um yeah those are like my ice cream flavors i know everyone's got like their one ice cream flavor that they usually stick to. So what's yours? What's your guys's ice cream flavors? Um, whether it's like at DQ or not, cause you know, maybe you guys don't have a DQ where you are, but um, yeah, what kind of flavor ice cream 
is your favorite ice cream? I know a lot of people like um, like minty chocolatey ones um, or like peanut ones, but I can't have like peanut butter stuff because my brother is deathly allergic to peanuts. So I we don't even like bother <laughs> getting anything that's come in contact with that, obviously. So um, yeah, I, I'm not uh, down with the peanut butter <laughs> flavors or the like minty chocolate chip. I just can't get... I don't know there's something about it that just feels like i'm eating toothpaste and ice cream and it's just not it's not the vibe um but yeah maybe that's your favorite you know and that's totally okay whatever floats your boat you know as long as you're happy eating ice cream that's what matters um but yeah what is your favorite ice cream flavor let me know and also um i present you with some of the questions that was um asked of me today um, what are your favorite Sims games and what did you, what was your first Sims game? Like, did you guys grow up playing like from Sims 1 all the way up? Did you guys just play the Sims 2 all the way up? Maybe you guys have literally only ever played the Sims 4 or maybe you've only ever played the Sims 3, but you just like watching speed builds. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Um, what game was your first Sims game? Um... It's always interesting hearing people's um, answers to that and like what they still stick with playing today because some people literally have just played The Sims 2 um, and like that's the only Sims game that they've ever played and they still play it to this day, which is really cool. Um, I think The Sims is like a really dedicated fandom, <laughs> maybe to a detriment sometimes, but they're a very dedicated, um, yeah, a, f a very dedicated fan base, which is nice. It's a cool community to be in. Um, Maybe some people ride or die a little bit too hard, but, <laughs> you know, I get it. You know, we stick with something for a long time and it's like something you're passionate about and have a lot of nostalgia with, you know, I get that it can, you know, make you very passionate about it. But anyways, um, we are nearing the end of this video because it is so long. I didn't put ending pictures and I hope that that's okay. Um, but yeah, so I think the video is just kind of gonna slowly end and fade out <laughs> with some music um thank you so much for being here thank you to everybody who uh sent in some questions for this mini q a um maybe i'll do like a bigger one in the future um and yeah um i think that's pretty much it uh the video is gonna end very soon and i think i'm all talked out and also my blizzard's waiting for me so <laughs> i'm gonna go and have a cookie dough blizzard and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.